there's a tempo change right after the intro on this, right? Yeah. You look really busy there, John. Shut up. face. <laughs> <laughs> It says 82 intro and then it's crossed out and it's just 89 and it looked like it said 92 at one point for afterwards. Yeah, didn't we decide to just go with 89 straight? Did, what do you got set at right now? 89. Okay. Yeah, I think we, I think we stuck with 89 the whole way through. But that part where I do the, da, 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 there's dun, no dun, metronome on dun, that part. Dun, dun. There it's, shouldn't be. It's just that should be. Out. Yeah, that should be felt out. Yeah. That's so, yeah, gonna be a problem. That's. That's gonna be a problem we're gonna make Todd deal with. <laughs> Shut your face. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> you nailed that part. <laughs> I was telling Heather that she should go out with you the other night. She didn't want one? I think Alan should go out with a chick that got kicked she out. Said, she said, I don't date younger dudes. And I was like, what? The guy's huh? fucking 25. And, uh, 26. 26. <laughs> Almost. And she, then she said, he should cut his hair. And he should shave his mustache off. What are you about? <laughs> That's pretty much three reasons not to date that girl right there. No, she's cool as fuck. Oh, uh, yeah? And then I said, uh, never mind the hair, me and Alan are having a hair growing contest. And she goes, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> or that would explain it or some shit. <laughs> something and he was really bombed and like uh, the last time we saw like him some like super thick fucking dude tough guy shaved head in a leather coat standing in front of him steve must have been rambling on about how bad he had to piss and he was going to piss on that girl's leg or something and the guy turned around and fucking like i was walking around the corner as it happened turned around and fucking shoved steve down to the fucking ground dude like down to the ground and I immediately walked up to the guy, I was like, whoa, whoa, dude. And I was like, what's going on, man? That's, that's a buddy of mine. Just cut him, cut him some slack. I don't know what he did, but just chill out. And I kind of like gave him a good pat on the back. He was like, well, tell him not to say he's going to piss on girls' legs. So I was like, I will do that. You just lay off him. He like, All right. And like I fucking hoisted what a Steve up. What a douchebag. I hoisted Steve up, and I was like, you're right, dude. And he was just like, uh, uh I'm going to go. I was like, ah, I don't sweat that guy. I cooled him down. He's just wasted. And he fucking just left with his tail between his well, legs, dude. Like, yeah, that kind of sucks when somebody fucking throws yeah. you to the ground. Yeah. Whoa, cool. We're arguing about stuff, so then we don't get the impression that we argue a lot. This is a pretty good shot. Death next to some punani. Punani lips. <laughs> you need 
to get laid, man. <laughs> I would help prepare her shrimp and the barbie. What's the sushi? Dude, dude, at the show when my boss showed up and I introduced him to Brant, he's like, oh wow, your brother's all clean shaven and he has a haircut. Alan, you should take a hint. Moving <laughs> on. Boss says we're moving on. 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 Moving on